You see here the water coming out of a more than 100 year old water mill or a hydro power station. Back in the days it was grinding wheat, but now it's generating electricity. And today we are going to talk about green hydrogen from water or hydro power. Here you see the electrolyzer and this poor guy, he only gets 7 cents per kilowatt hour from the government for his electricity and he could earn much more if he produces hydrogen. He has lots of renewable energies. We follow the creek and you see also all the solar. The water goes here and divides into two water turbines, one there and one in the main house. And then the creek goes underground into the last building. So here you can see the photovoltaics and the sawmill. Because these water wheels used to be used on saws or mechanical devices, they all work with these belts and pulleys. And then the three-phase AC after the generator go into the grid. with 50 hertz and obviously 15 amp. This is the German water wheel manufacturer. He has different styles, but at the end uh, there is um, water funneled over a turbine, which then uh, it's going to a belt that's just for the transmission, because back in the days maybe the saw, which was driving at a different speed, here you see the Bauknecht generator with 11 kilowatt. And this is the manufacturer of the turbines. This is the oldest turbine. It used to grind wheat and now it makes electricity. And the most challenging thing about hydropower is the water flow. Because you need 50 hertz in the grid, there's this intelligent regulation system with flaps. Here you see the uh, water intake and there's a float regulating a flap to have always the same rounds per minute. Another challenge is of course debris in the river which can be sorted out automatically or manually. Here I test the electrolyzer with a bench power supply just to make sure all the systems run. He has a huge air compressor which I branched to the booster now and then I can compress the hydrogen to the hydrogen bundle and there he can fill up his gas forklift which will be converted to hydrogen but also he's going to sell a lot of gas and the best thing about this project is the water works best in winter when there's a lot of rain and snow melting and the pv works in the summer so that he doesn't need any batteries and the vox electrolyzer will run almost all year around I hope you found that interesting and thank you very much for watching.